Hi, welcome. This is a uh, really quick tutorial on how to set up your scene using Quest 3 automatic mapping. And as you can see, I'm in a multi-room play area. And so you want to be able to go into all different rooms and play utilizing the full potential of the Quest 3 headset. So in order to do so, you first want to open up your menu and you want to go to that little uh, tab right there, quick settings and then go to settings. Under the main settings menu, make sure to select physical space. Go to the boundary, and you wanna just delete your boundary history. Just, you just get rid of it. So delete. And now you wanna set up a new boundary. The trick is you wanna start in the center of your play area, and that way you maximize the size that you can utilize when you're playing the games. So in order to do that, just go to create new boundary. And now you see how it's doing this auto mapping. Just uh, this is the problem because it only allows you to do one room. So what you want to do is you want to do choose your own boundary. So click this right here and select room scale. Now you'll see a little plane on the ground. Um, so now just press confirm. And so now what you want to do is just draw it as large as possible. So now you see why it's important to be in the center of your play area, because now you can maximize this uh, play area size. So you can utilize your full house or apartment or wherever you, wherever you are. So just make sure all that's completely filled in. And then press confirm. Okay, so now you got your boundary set. So now that, that stupid little boundary is not going to prevent you from going into other rooms and stuff. So now what you need to do is go to space setup. And then what I want you to do is clear your space setup. So just clear everything you have. It'll just make it much easier. And now set up your new play space. So now you're gonna scan your new environment. So just press continue. And now just simply walk around and scan all of the other rooms that you have. Just be careful not to go too far outside of your play area because then it will prevent the scene from actually mapping. And you want to make sure there's no holes in the walls or anything like that. So what this mesh will do is it will allow for collision and occlusion when playing the apps. So whether you're playing Honify where you want ghosts to hide behind walls or if you're playing FPS Enhanced Reality, where you want to shoot walls and see bullet holes and have it interact with physics. Sometimes the scans don't work. You might have to do it more than once, but for the most part, it should work most of the time. So once your setup is complete, you can see it's scanned in more than one room. You go back to the center of your play area, and you can hit continue. This is the most important step. If you want to be able to do multi-room, you got these blue walls preventing you from going into the other rooms that you already scanned. So in order pr to prevent these walls from getting in the way, simply just drag these little circles and just move them out of the way. Try to outline your outermost boundary and make sure all these are connected too. And don't worry about these walls. The only walls that matter are the scanned walls in this game. So as you can see, I moved all these blue walls out of the way so that I'm able to enter the other rooms. And this mesh will provide occlusion and collision. So these walls will get in the way of you playing the games. That's why you gotta move them out of the way. Hit continue. And now everything is completely set up for multi-room experience playing Honify. Don't worry about furniture. So now all you just simply do is just uh, you start the games, so you just go to Honify. And then for the Quest 3, you always do the Quest 3 auto setup for all their headsets. It's like a manual process. Might be a little bit more challenging to do, but Quest 3 is just the steps I showed. Scan when playing. All right, so now 
you can pretty much start the game right now. Generate mesh and start and you're good to go. So now these walls right here, they occlude and you can enter in to more than one room. So I can go in multiple rooms and play this game.